So hi everyone, how are you guys doing? Hello? Great, that's very good, it's very good to hear. Okay. I'm doing great too, you know, I'm doing awesome. Thank you. Alright, what about Rishikesh? And Archana? Yeah. Hi Rishikesh, welcome to the class. So everyone, uh, I mean today we have a GK class and in this class we are going to discuss the major world events, right? I mean, we've been on this earth for, you know, thousands of years. However, there are certain events which shaped our existence over here, right? Right? So we'll talk about each of them, right? Starting from the early, early man to, you know, right up to this point. All right? Let's see. I'm sure all of you, all of you know about this one, the Stone Age, and this guy who looks somewhat like a monkey. He's the early man, right? Yes, he's the early man, and uh, basically, the Stone Age is defined as the time when man started eating stones or rocks as tools, right? Tools, weapons, anything, right? So the period when he actually started using tools, that is when, you know, he got differentiated from animals, right? I mean, now there was a different category called man who could use his brain, who could use, you know, things around him to build tools, to, you know, build a fire and protect himself and, you know, everything. And then there were animals, right? So this is the earliest period, right? And yes, it is called the, I mean, the Stone Age is the Lithic period. There is an old Stone Age, right, which is called the Paleolithic period, right? And the new Stone Age, which is called the Neolithic period. Is that fine, everyone? Paleolithic and Neolithic. Right? Well, you know, these are the two broad categories. Old Stone Age or Paleolithic basically means that he, he, he learned how to make fire and control fire. Right? Right? And he started using them as weapons. Uh, yes, I can do that. Is that fine? Okay. Alright. So, the old stone age is defined as a time when he started using, you know, stones as weapons. Right? So, that made his life a lot easier. Right? He could, he could hunt much more easily now. He could, you know, gather food much more easily now. Right? He could also make fire and control fire. Right? These are some of the stones, right, that were, you know, some of the tools that were used by early man. You can see that they are very crude, right? They are very raw. Right, everyone? Yes, exactly. So, this is the old stone age. So, we also have the new stone age, right? In the new stone age, what he started doing was agriculture. Yes, yes, in the old stone age, the, the dog became, you know, yes, you're right, Rezer. Uh in the new stone age, agriculture started, right? The early man started settling down, right? He started cultivating his food instead of, you know, gathering it, right? Earlier, what they used to do was they used to move around, you know, hunt, and, you know, that is how they used to survive. But after that, what they did was they started settling down, you know, in areas which had sufficient amount of food. They started growing their own food, domesticating their own animals, right? So, this is the new stone age. In this case, you will see that they have more refined tools and they started using tools, these tools for, you know, uh, agriculture and domestication and all of these. Okay? Everyone, is that fine? Yes. Uh, though, so, the question that I am asking is, where did the man first settle down? River valleys, hills or deserts? 
river valleys exactly very good why is that why river valleys and uh, aadhi do you have a doubt welcome to him exactly there is there is water you know yeah i didn't i didn't actually see you earlier i mean you you weren't exactly there when i started the class so either ways you know better late than never all right and yes yes very fertile soil availability of water right so he could he could actually uh, you know cultivate food all right everyone agni do you have a doubt or anyone else who has any any doubt in the new stone age okay yeah well according to them agriculture in water is equal to comfortable life right it's no longer considered comfortable right yeah agnes still waiting still waiting for your doubt in the meantime let's move on to uh, bronze age right in the bronze age what basically happened was people started building up a civilization when i say civilization they had their own culture right and uh, you know a, a very definite rules of a society basically the first society appeared in this period right and instead of stone they started using bronze right they started using bronze right so that is the that is the first uh, i mean sorry that is the bronze age what is the civilization well civilizations are defined as a society which has a very set you know i mean which has a set of rules that they follow laws that they follow which have a culture right i mean for example there is an indian civilization there is an uh, you know american civilization european civilization right british civilization right now right all of these have very different laws all of these have very different cultures that they follow right and you know there is a very different civilization in in the middle east as well right so that is the current state that is the current civilization right i mean that wasn't exactly the state all the time earlier you had you know the other civilizations the older civilizations for example which was the first civilization that appeared the egyptian harappan or mesopotamian anyone okay judy says egyptian rishikesh wants to go with harappan okay well uh, it was in fact mesopotamian mesopotamian civilization was the first civilization that appeared right and faisal is actually right if you if you mix copper and tin you get bronze that's right okay yes yes zoe was the one who said that that's very good right so that was the first civilization but then you know all the rest of the civilizations also appeared around the same age you know around the same period right uh who can tell me where is mesopotamia is there a city or a country or a place called mesopotamia right now okay where is it exactly very good very good judy so yes iraq you know basically uh the region which is right now iraq was earlier called mesopotamia right uh the region between two rivers tigris and euphrates right the entire region between these two rivers is called was called you know mesopotamia right now it lies in iraq is that fine yes indus valley civilization or harappan civilization they are the same thing and uh, you know they basically uh, appeared on the indus river right and yes they were in india exactly earlier you know india used to be from the hindu kush right up to the entire himalayas you know the entire southeast asia right uh, mesopotamia m it's m mesopotamian or mesopotamia okay yes aryans came after the indus valley civilization 
right? They actually destroyed the Indus Valley civilization. Yeah. Actually, uh, you know, the theory is that Aryans are not exactly native Indians. However, however the entire North India, uh, uh, you know, has the, the descendants of Aryans, right? On the other hand, the native Indians are called, you know, Dravidians. So, almost, you know, the southern India, the inhabitants of southern India are said to be the descendants of Dravidians, right? What Aryans did was they either destroyed everything or they, they pushed the native Indians towards south, right? They're Russians, we're not exactly sure of that, right? Uh, Hitler would have you believe that, you know, Aryans were Germans, so we don't know exactly. Uh, we know that, you know, they came from Europe somewhere, they followed the, the Mesopotamian route, right? Right, they came from Europe, Europe they, they crossed Turkey, they came into, you know, Mesopotamia, and then from there they moved on to Hindu Kush and the Indus Valley Civilization. Yes, yes, exactly. That is a that is a very very interesting part. Very good, Archana. Uh, the thing is, the early man basically uh, learnt all this on his own. For example, in the next period that we are going to discuss, that is the Iron Age. Right. In fact, even right now we are living in the Iron Age. Yes, yes, that's right, Fezzel. Because in that uh, in this period, what man did was he he you know he started building tools made of iron instead of you know bronze and even right now most of our tools are made of iron or you know some uh, some some particular alloy of iron you know like steel so iron steel all of these they come under iron age anyway so yes agni uh, i mean you're right the dead people in egypt then i mean the dead people are not called mummies uh, the the dead people are mummified they're converted into a mummy all right. The Egyptian people they convert their dead into a mummy. Not all the dead people, you know, just the important ones, like their kings and you know princes and nobles. Just those people, not everyone. Right. So the Iron Age basically started uh, from 1200 to 500 BC. Yeah. Okay. 